and we call it a shit show. Everyone jump on in, it's a Friday night shit show. Grab a ball and tear the friends. We got a couple bugs, grind them up not to a dust. Then just roll it up, or you can stick it up your butt. It's a shit show. Everyone jump on in, it's a Friday night shit show. Grab a ball and tear the friends. Now we're all right high, but shot our eyes. I think I got a hunch that we all can use a bunch. Yeah! Fritter is in the motherfucking his house, and I am effed up and loving it. Fuck yeah, brother. Smoking blueberry. <laughs> yeah. That's what I like to hear. Hey, okay, what is every... That's right, Dags. You fucking light them up, everyone. Smoke them if you got them. Let's uh, start this off. Talking over right. some goop. Oh, goop dude, goop. you're fucking dabbing on some good shit there, brother. Yeah, this was uh, from my buddy Snackman420. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I like to see that. I like to see it. Clementine live resin. I, I, do is, love uh, I guess wedding cake. Uh, that's wedding cake, I believe. Some type of uh, flower rosin I made a while ago. Wonderful brown snot. Yes. Yeah, it works good too. Hell yes. What is everybody else smoking on? Let us know on the live chat, please. Or we do want to know. Like I said, I'm smoking on grapple fritter. Uh, I got to sample a little bit. To the, the main bud uh, from Nicole is sitting over there still drying. It's stuff still a little bit green, but what you know what? That's why they call it sample nugs. So uh, <laughs> for sampling away, I started the morning off with grapple fritter or not grapple fritter, catahoula. And I was all about loving that. I guess we could probably put the invite out there so that uh, wonderful folks like Blue Kiss might want to come and hang out. Big word might be kicking around as well. Anyone else, feel free to come hang out with us. That is what this show is all about. Not just, uh, well, fucking well, G Bay is kind of cute. You probably don't mind staring at him, but I, I you know. they, uh, they tore me apart in Discord today, man. Went got a haircut and shit, man. Wow, went to the lion's den apparently. Well, yeah, you're too pretty. Oh, fuck, they chewed me up, spit me out. <laughs> yeah, my pipe's got the zope. Been hearing a bit about that stuff. It sounds yummy. Oh, shit. What do they call Look that locker that. room talk or fucking schoolyard antics? Holy shit. Even Fluff's coming in on a Friday night? Oh, he must be really he's bored. Fluff? Or he's in shit with the old lady and he's been banished to the basement. Which is it? <laughs> G-Boy was uh, telling about, about his friend that was a farmer. I was... Oh, I was yeah. Yeah. Broke back farmers, eh? Fuck. I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you you didn't, but he did. Bluff, don't you join their fucking team, okay? We're welders united. Hey, I was coming on here to talk about your big deck. Um, because caribou was not about your bullshit the other day, and I was gonna fucking come in and join in on start some bullshit. So I mean if it's already started, here I am. Let's go. I like bullshit. Let's do it. 
This is going to be a fun night. I can tell already. What an idea. Oh, what? So you, you, what did you say? You said you were smoking on some grapple fritter. or what was GVA smoking on? I'm smoking some blueberry outdoor. It was uh, DJ Shorts F5 I got. Uh, I no longer have the genetic, so that's the jar or two. That's it. And then we got some uh, some goop. Goop? Ooh. Is this like home processed goop or is this uh, somebody else's goop? Some is, um, I don't know the origin of this stuff exactly, but my buddy used the, uh, oh, there's a hair on it. God damn huskies. Where'd that hair go? I swear I saw one. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. I saw a glint of it. It's in there, there it somewhere. It's right there. there. Fingers. On that side. I saw it somewhere. There it is. Got it. She's going to put the lid back on that fucking thing. Um, yeah, my buddy, uh, I think he takes most of his outdoors to this guy to process, so it's probably the same person. I have no idea. But it's always good. What was Kingfish smoking on? I'm rolling up some loud jelly bean. Jelly bean, nice. I was that for for two as you jumped in right before I did. I am just fucking. I ground up some juice box to uh nice. rock out this evening. So I'm in the juice box light instead. Juice box light. <laughs> I like that. It tastes, tastes kind of like the juice box, but uh, M- more of the fruit, less of the gas. A little less. Uh, just a little less of it. It just does not have as much flavor kick to it. Still yeah, good. but it's got to be if it's following those same fucking genetics, man. You know, or that that same profile. That profile is fucking nice. Even, I mean, some some people, if if they don't really like it super fucking out and loud, that'd probably be good for them. Fucking tone it down just a little bit because that fucking juice box is out there. It, it lets you know. Yeah, man. She's a loud girl. So how's everybody's week? Did everybody successful in all their endeavors? Fucking made through all their fucking limbs and all that stuff. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. For us outdoor workers, it was nice. Winter showed up finally. <laughs> it's like a yeah. couple days into spring and winter is like, hey, still hanging on. Yeah, you thought yeah. we'd left. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it gets it's always got to be that one last roar for the people that just get a little bit too eager and want to start Plant, gardening. Plants season, early. Right? See, yeah. down here, yeah. people put plants in the ground too early. You know, like, <laughs> oh, it's been nice. You get some nice, you get one nice weekend down here where it's like in the 70s and all of those, uh, play, all of, you know, Home Depot and Lowe's, all their garden centers are full of people buying plants to put out. And then a couple a week and a half later, we get a little cold snap and all those plants die. I think it's like a plan. Like they plan for that. They're like, oh, if we just get a good one, good warm weekend, we'll get everyone to buy stuff twice. Oh, man, it's fucking conspiracy. I love it. it it's fucking Home Depot, Lowe's and fucking Menards. They're all in on it. You're the chemtrail. Them and, them, yeah, they're the- them and Burpee are like, we're just trying to get some. Cold oh, bread. yeah. You know, you got to put Burpee in on that shit for sure. They're fucking leading the pack on that. You guys just inspired me to look at the Baker Creek website. I don't even type it in. <laughs> But that's only, that was on my agenda for this weekend is I got to go through the garden seeds and get them fucking in the ground, get them planted. They should have been started a long time ago. But well, my dad uh, fucking uh, just uh, recently retired himself yesterday and he's been wanting to do full on gardening for a long time. And so if he's going to be growing fucking plants and I'm going to be trying to travel the four hours north to help him out whenever I can, because I want to, they got a beautifully established garden in a not ideal part of the yard. And if we'd like to establish garden in the ideal spot of the yard. And so it's going to be a lot of work and he needs help. And I want to come up and uh, help with that kind of shit. Right? So it's, but I, I know I don't want burpee. And stuff like that. I, I want cool shit. And one like the uh, Ashley and I really like the evil olives and stuff, and uh, the dark ones, the carbons for uh, tomatoes. For oh, for example, I've, I've put the evil carbons olives in. for. Carbons I was that was. Cool. What's that? Carbons are a good a good tomato. 
Yeah, I, I was imagine. actually just talking with, uh, I think it was like Art Man and fucking uh, Sniff earlier about like the tomatoes I'm playing this year and how I'm cutting a bunch of just shit. You know, I'm not I'm not doing like a, a fucking tomato pheno hunt this year. I'm just getting some solid tried and trues. And the carbon was one that was on the list for like the slicers and like the raw tomato eating. It was like very high on the list for that. Well, so. I think that's what we're doing this year because last year we went on the Baker's Creek website and wanted to buy a whole bunch of stuff and didn't. But while we were here uh, in Prince George, they got a wicked farmer's market. Lots of big cities do. We, I live in a small town, so ours isn't great, right? And we went down there because there's a lady that was showing off on Facebook. She had Baker's Creek tomato uh, plants already started. We went down there. We got a, whole, a bunch. But like the evil olives and the carbons were the two that stuck out to us. So we're like, okay, we know we like those because we like to have a cherry tomato style of plant where you just pluck and munch because, you know, it's amazing to do that. But I, I like salads. I like uh, bacon tomato sandwiches and all that kind of stuff. So we need, need like good full on full on tomatoes. So I think we're going to try and do that. Nice. And wait, so, so did I hear you say that your dad retired himself today yesterday yesterday so, so i feel like that's totally fucking dad worthy right now like right. fucking a dad to the old man's retirement yeah man let's we'll, well, then, then we'll cheers get, to that shit and then i'll get into the fucking the story as i heard it uh because there's a little bit there wasn't a plan for it, it out. <laughs> uh, no gold watch on the last day <laughs> Thanks yeah. for all the years of help. Here's your gold watch. Yeah, no, nothing like that, unfortunately. And I, I could actually see him probably going back on a very, like, basically the last six months or more, he's pretty well been retired. He goes in when he needs to or gets called in by the boss and says, hey, we actually need you to come and do this or that, whatever. Fair enough, I guess. And... I, he in the two months I've been working out of their house and staying here, which has been awesome. I've seen it. Yesterday was the third day he's gone into the work, and so and I was even kind of thinking I'm on my way to work yesterday. I wonder if today is the day. And sure enough, when I got home from work yesterday, he wasn't here. So like, oh, fuck, he's still working. That's crazy. And the funny thing is, we it, when I was like about 50, 10, not even five, like five minutes from home. I turned off on the road. That's a big straight stretch that they kind of live down and just missed his ass walking. Uh, let's say it's probably about two hours and 15 minutes into a three hour walk because he gets to work and whatever the deal is, the boss wants him to do whatever. And it turns into an argument. The old man fucking throws the keys out and pulls out the gas and credit cards. Trucks and fucking marches the fuck out of there and then proceeds to fucking walk the fuck home up a big hill the hard highway is a big fucking long ass hill and we used to do it as kids and the thought of doing it as an adult now just mortifies me let alone him and so it was kind of cool so now he's got that but it's also not always good because it's i could see him being one of the people that just kind of wants to sit and like rot I, so to speak, you know how you hear about people that retire and oftentimes pass away within a couple of years. They don't get out and they don't do much. He already is not happy with what he's kind of seen in the world and wants to kind of get away from it. Okay, you got a big yard, lots of room to do stuff. That, that, that That's okay. But it, I I also worry that this is going to be, he's going to become too reclusive and too much, too much of a hermit. So I there is stresses involved with that as well. But at the end of the day, fucking the old man is retired and he, he wants to work on the garden primarily and I want to be able to work on the garden with him. I think it'll be fun. So I, I was thinking about today, even setting up the computer on the backyard where they we're going to start doing the garden. There's a whole bunch of 20 foot fucking saplings. If you might want to call them, I, I wouldn't classify them as a tree myself. One day they'll get there, but uh, trees that need to be cleared off this hillside that we can, uh, to turn it into a garden where you take those uh, trees turn them into poles and stuff like that that you can use for fencing or you know whatever purposes we need them around the yard and uh yeah and then we're gonna make some great big hewel pits and uh 
have some fun with that. I'm actually really looking forward to it. I was hoping to spend a good chunk of the year uh, gardening over at the in-laws place because it makes a lot of sense, you know, they live up five minutes away. Uh, but <clears throat> they died. And I, I hopefully I still will, but I think actually this is a, a come and uh, spend some time with my old man. Speaking of retirement, um, he's just about to retire himself here with the bully just packed. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <clears throat> Check Fuck. this out. It's got a little bit I don't of earth. Even see this, but a little bit of earth thing is right. Fuck, he even speaks like he's down two south, different... or he's going towards the floor. He's getting ready to be quiet. Two G different bed. dabs. J. Patrick just asked if he was zooted yet. Well, he's about to be. <laughs> I looked at him like, you know, it's the beginning of the show, right? Like, very start. You guys are acting like it's only 15 me. minutes. <laughs> 9 30, G. Bay is going to be sitting there, half, eyes at half half mast. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, pinkies up, bitches. Hey, can we get an over under on that? <laughs> under. <laughs> under. <laughs> You're going under <laughs> six sixteen. I'll do one just like this every twenty minutes. Oh, I'm, I'm guessing he taps out early. Right. We're gonna have Miss G Bay here, and G Bay's gonna be like laid out on the floor over over by the tents. He'll be like propping himself up on the bomb. <laughs> Probably can't see it, but I, 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 I'm fucking joining the club there, G-Bay. I added the fucking hash to the bowl. Let's get her fucking going. I pinkies up, bitch. <laughs> you must. <laughs> It'll disappear like Uncle Rick used to. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, we're going to have to draw a sticky note for G-Bay. Yeah, oh, right? Yeah. Hey, i got some sticky notes around here. We'll fucking get her set up. Oh. We, we, you need like a cardboard cutout of just some random dude we could put right next to you. Yes. <laughs> Since you're there, we just need to replace G base. We just need a cardboard cutout. Fuck, perfect. May oh, maybe like a little fucking like a scarecrow or some shit. <laughs> Still green. Oh, go again. Yeah, go again. Yeah, that took you 20 minutes to smoke it. Yeah, go again. That's the, that's the thing with those, man. You can let that heat. You let the heater sit on the bowl. Let it fucking heat up that hash a little and really get it working. She's oh yeah, I prefer a good five second warm up or so. I I don't know. I don't count it. I assume it's probably about five seconds or so just to get it rocking. Because I find that because right now I'm hitting it at five fifty. Because I, I I want dragon clouds Friday night. I don't know if I can, but it's not Friday for me. It's like something like Wednesday because I got to work till next Thursday still. So it's I just want to get high and forget that I got to work tomorrow. Lucas, what's going wow, on? Wow, that is a record. Well, you know what? We we have a thing. And yeah, I've actually brought it in because of you. It, it goes boink or whatever every time someone pops into the back room now and lets us know. Because of me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't fucking, it wasn't Remo. It wasn't fucking Tommy Chong and or any of the many other people that have actually sat in the waiting room forever. You know, and we have fucking in completely my, offended. In my, but in my but, angst and ire, going. <laughs> no, well, yeah, but but since you complained about it so much, he fixed it for you. Thank yeah. you. Speaking well, real, well, free, but I was always 100%. And I well, I probably <laughs> also like to point out that to, we we let Tommy Chong in right away because we were like had like five or six of us sitting there waiting, staring yeah. at the screen. Well, you can't miss it, bro. You can't miss it. And like, wasn't he early too? Which surprised the shit out of us. Yes, it like fucked us all up. Or something? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We were all fucking getting baked and working our nerves off, and he just jumps in like, "Hey guys, what's happening?" <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like, so what do you guys want to know? What's up? It's like, well, <laughs> first of all, I'm still trying to be starstruck here. So for a <laughs> Yeah, you're going to give me a minute to realize you're fucking here right now, and then we're going to talk. Okay, hold on. Let me ask, is Dave there? <laughs> I was worried about the, the record player at my home while I was growing up in my first uh, Cheech and Chong experience, and that's what I, I would have loved with. Sit down while I talk to you, Tony. <laughs> my first giant joint came from the paper out of the record, so. 
I always like the comedy on the is going downtown, going to see my girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was quite young when I was singing that song. The one they sing on stage in the movie, that one's pretty good. Mama talk to me, Dad. Don't you have to be out of I don't listen to her because my head is like a seal. Yeah, I knew we could get G Bay singing if he's just getting fucking smoked enough. Yeah, man. Just give him a beat and he'll go. What was that song you were trying to sing us the other night? Put it in your mind. There it is. Finally. Just well, you know, you know, just it. Enunciate. I didn't quite get that. You motherfucking man. Wait, he yeah, and you motherfucking man. Oh, no. Now I that we know you know can sing, I know the didn't he spend all oh. Tuesday night trying to say he cannot sing? I or can't or sing. Put it in her mouth. He's got like <laughs> a freaking... <laughs> Voice of an angel. Songs, that's for sure. I gave the uh, chat the link, and some of you guys really went out and listened to it. It was pretty yeah, funny. Man. Coming back to chat, they're like, "Oh fuck, what kind of song is that?" Right? Yeah, but remember, I don't know if you guys yeah, remember. Many, friends of dance. Many that, shows ago, I was referring <laughs> to that because there used to be a PSA announcement when we were kids about not putting things in your mouth, and it was like a it was like a redone song with these like weird two weird puppets. <laughs> I don't know, it was messed up. You know, the one I'm talking about is like it was it only targeted <laughs> for like little girls or was it targeted for everybody and not everybody, just putting yeah. random shit random in your mouth? Shit, yeah, yeah. Like you don't put random drugs and random stuff you find on the ground in your mouth. Well, they didn't just they kind of take the fun that. out of fucking life, man. And then they got wow. turned into that. There's always the ones that don't learn, <laughs> right? Uh, cheers, BC Stoner Mom. How are you doing? Oh, is she hanging out there? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's surprising because she's hanging out with her daughter right now. She uh, just went and picked her uh, up, and so they're having a mother-daughter uh, spring break right now. So uh, I, I love you, and I hope you guys are having a great time. Big word. 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 I love you too, brother. What's happening? Love you guys too, man. Oh. So, oh, and also, I'd, I'd like to point out that I was just, when I wasn't talking to you guys, I was looking at the Baker Creek seeds, and they saved our fucking, our catalog, or not our, our cart from, like, last year when we were looking the at info. it. Nice. Well, so well there's, like, say again? What's in your cart? All right, well, let's have a look here. Give me a second. Let's hit the right button. Does anyone else know this song? Well, I want to. Yeah, <laughs> sing it loud, sing it proud. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how it starts. <laughs> All right, yeah, okay, there we go. I like sing it loud. All righty. Um, okay. so, so, so we got a bunch of tomatoes in there, right? Some of Tom. Atomic Grape. So my name is Brad. So if y'all didn't yeah, know. That, but yeah. so he, he could be a Brad all day long if he wants. Yeah. And yeah. I'll tell you the fucking black cherry ones they had were fire. Those were super good. Like uh, one yeah, of my I, favorite cherry tomatoes. I like the idea of the purple cauliflower. That sounds pretty bitching to me. I, mean, I also like <laughs> the purple. purple carrots. Yeah. Got some funky cute like color things like that. I just would have the old standbys, the old um I think I've got the purple carrots too. I had to get them, man. Uh, I was like, I gotta know. Let's face it, Indian corn is about as adventurous as I want to get. Fennel think, is uh, one of my favorites on the barbecue. If you baste fennel with uh olive oil on a bar roasted on a barbecue, it's like one of my absolute favorites. What do you get kind of like a leek? Sunflower is uh, so yeah, it, it looks like one at least. You come. right? I know it looks like one, but is it? I guess I. I don't think I've ever had just fennel. So we're getting chamomile. Chamomile. I definitely need chamomile. I find fennel very. Uh, it, it's got very much like a licorice sort of uh, some scent to it. I don't start my chamomile in the mint. You would only have to grow. You know, buy those one right. time. They'll keep. They'll keep coming up. Yep. Stevia, apparently that's like sugar, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Dude, so like when you that's make that's like teas and shit, fucking put a raw stevia leaf in it, and that's where you get your sweetness from. It's actually 
it's way better than like use it like in my in my experience it was way better than like powdered stevia but using it yeah. as a, a raw leaf inside was way better just charring on mm -hmm. i have some in our garden so and i think uh what i'll, I'll also do is so keep i've been telling my parents for weeks that i i want to go through their uh website a uh, with them and pick out a bunch of seeds for us to grow out but it's i've I, you know how it is when you're, there's never a computer around when you're thinking about it and talking about it and so now i can just keep that window there and it'll uh you know are you are you gonna do like a like a um tea or anything with the uh catnip or what, what's your plans for the catnip Try and grow it out and not let the cat destroy it in the process <laughs> so that we can give it to her. My cat used to uh, just lay, like, go out and chew it and then lay down underneath the plants. Just hang out. Like, have just high, just be high. Oh, yeah, just so, be fucked up. So, I mean, that's an interesting thing, good. man. Catnip's, like, super relaxing to a human, too. Like, so your evening tea to like add catnip to it is like a pretty fucking pretty decent man huh yeah, yeah so look, look into it like when you when you grow some out and you dry it out for the cat and shit add some to your teas also well, it's i think mint you know so it's in the mint family yeah well see so yeah, i hope if my old lady's listening sure if you are write that down please and we want to make tea with catnip because all my high ass will forget this like as soon as we change the subject right? Wait, do you, you want to steal wanna... those leaves or do you want to steep them i just was curious fucking canadians want yeah we, we were uh, it's your auto correct she was just saying stevia leaves in cheesecloth works well to sweeten home and yeah she was talking about stealing shit man that's I, what I, was like. I was like you do you try to spell steaming and she's, she's like, like no not even that steaming. either she was steaming it. <laughs> Like you do for tea. No, just if you put a leaf in a piece of cheesecloth and put it in your cup, then it doesn't like break apart. And I always, uh, so I, I found yeah. that, uh, I didn't use it dry. I used it like yeah. raw or like fresh. So yeah. It, just, it depends um, on what you're doing, right? Sure. Yeah. So, so just <laughs> steeping it in there was real nice. <laughs> it depends on the time of year. Sometimes I have both. Sometimes I only have fresh or I only have dry. The same with tea. If you have it right. dry, you can just put it in cheesecloth or, or like DVD a, a tea and ball. Cat ready. Do it. <laughs> to get you all fucking ready to relax. All loosey goosey, <laughs> like you just got out of a motherfucking like a uh, hot tub and shit. Be on, be on the, be on the nip and CD, CBD tea. Yeah, well, it's all this nip talk. All of a sudden, we were talking yeah. about seeds. Well, that was a natural progression for the seeds that he had in his thing, though. Of course, well, silly me. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, nah, now it's fucking ruined. I just never mind. Oh, Jay Patrick, you the man, brother. Thank you. So we have Thank this really cool thing called a uh, Patreon account where, if you choose to, you can donate to the show and help us out with the bills around here. Um, and we think very highly of all of our supporters, but. Uh, just for the Patreon people, we made a video for y'all. So, oh, see, we're gonna see the uh, the boat through the heart hole here. Okay. There's so, so many good things in that one. Yeah. So if you'd like to support the show on Patreon, I can click the link that Jay Patrick put up there. Give us another reason to make more videos like that. All right. That's that's what your contributions do for us. It gives us reasons to make fucking ridiculous asses of ourselves. So did you there I just saw yesterday or this morning, I think on Reddit, that they're bringing back uh golden girls with new with um like amy poehler and uh 
what's the other girl that are they doing a direct remake of it i don't know they you know just happened to uh, show the four girl four yeah, ladies liz, uh whatever because name. yeah the one that played liz lemon yeah i can't think of her name Fuck. i tried to go on senile I've got no interest personally. Like the original was great, and I feel like if you try and do it again, it's I mean, like how many of these remakes that we keep getting thrown at us are actually really better or dead, I, man. I mean, could they? No. Why aren't they do it? The Jeffersons. Oh, it'd be great. <laughs> Move it on. Not get away with it today, Who bro. They need to. Man, I, you know what? You, they can't remake it because it, it's never going to be right like that again. Who would even play George? Would be what about Bobby All in the Family? It. Yeah. <laughs> right? I, I was thinking it's All in the Family, too. That are some fucking honeymooners. Well, who's going to be the cranky old <laughs> man? Uh, what's the name there? The real man old man. Man. Son. I mean, you think about it. Maude was... Uh, all of that stuff that went on there too. Adrian Barbo is her daughter. That was uh, some cutting edge stuff. So you couldn't get away with that shit today. No, <laughs> no. That, that's what I was thinking, man. Like, uh, and, and if you haven't seen it, um, and you got Netflix, the Blazing Saddles <laughs> is about to fucking leave Netflix. And it's like one of those movies. If you've never seen it, you got to do a favor and fucking you got to go see it. But you, there's absolutely no way that movie could be made again today. They just can't no, fucking no. do it, man. No, no. And it's no. It, that was a movie that when I got to watch it on video cassette, the library lent out movies. You got them for a week at a time. So in one week's time, I think I watched it almost 14 times and pretty much had it memorized. It was just it was great. It's one of those movies. Then when you saw it on TV and watched it get edited for network release, you're like, "Oh, dude, that shit's oh, hilarious!" God, I mean, they, they I put mean, other stuff in. It was just you know, funny on the network. Oh well, yeah, stuff. but the movie is also like 45 minutes shorter by all the shit they just couldn't even yeah. fucking cut in. They're like, "No, yeah. you just got to get rid of these parts like that." That no, yeah. <laughs> so the movie's like fucking significantly shorter. Yeah. Yeah, dude, no. Oh, yeah, man. Damn near lost a $400 hand cart. Shit. <laughs> Where? <the hell? laughs> I almost double loaded my dagger. That could have been. Yeah, yeah. Who's, who's got a nickel? Who's got a nickel. Dabbing and dabbing and dabbing. We gotta go back and get a shitload of dimes. <laughs> we need a shitload of dimes. There you go. Nice oh, sticker. Fuck. How uh, about a dab frog? We like dab frogs around here. We can do that. Cheers. My first dab of the evening. A long awaited first dab of the evening. Might I add? Cheers, friends. Oh, fuck yeah. Revenge of the yeah. Nerds. Another fucking great one. I, I, you know, what the hell was I just about? Porkies. They, they fucking made a, uh, like a newer Porkies where oh. like, uh, it was it was pretty terribly hilarious though. It was called like Pimping Out Pee Wee or some shit. And really? it was a lot. Yeah, dude, it was it was <laughs> it was some of the older actors like that. Act, it was like, I think it was Pee Wee. Was it that road trip? Thing? Uh, what was that road trip one where they uh, they got the real nerdy dude, skinny, geeky dude that ended up hooking up with the big black girl? What? Wasn't that just Porky's too? No, that was like that all Porky. <laughs> shoot, I don't remember what <laughs> the one you're talking about. about. It was like there were a lot of them bad the green movies. movies. <laughs> Someone out there knows what I'm talking about. Is that the Tom Green movie? We need some. Uh, yeah, I think it was. Tom oh, Green. like yeah, without a paddle? No, that's Road Trip. Oh, just called Road Trip. Okay. Yeah, Hillbilly Herb's confirming that one. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it was a great movie. But that was kind of like felt like it was 
kind of had some of those porky themes in it. Porky themes? Oh, uh, right. Well, yeah, man, no, man, pimping out. I think it was called Pimp Pimpin' Pee Wee, man. It was pretty fucking... <laughs> that they they didn't fucking hide from the cheese, all right? They were like, we know this is a shitty movie, and we're just giving it to you straight. And I appreciate that when you make a bad movie, you know? Roll with that shit. So so it was basically Fluffy's Gardens makes a movie. <laughs> Soul Plane or that one? That was a good one. Oh, fuck yeah. Soul Plane was awesome. <laughs> I think I just watched that with the wife not so long ago on accident. <laughs> Not as good as airplane though. Airplane the fucking plane had on it. <laughs> yeah, when, when oh, yeah, dude. that was just you know to watch Kareem Abdul Jabbar attempt to act was kind of like surreal. <laughs> nah, man, watching Leslie Nielsen try to act is fucking surreal. Well, uh, he, Nielsen. Leslie Nielsen aren't Leslie they making Nielsen. new Lethal Weapon movies too? What are they still making those? They're making no. a new one with a different actor. I say I'm pretty sure I saw something for. I mean, I would give it a try because I love uh, those kind of fucking spoofy ass movies. Yeah, I'm like, pretty sure when, the actor was someone I already don't care about. With. I thought it was a new Axel F. Not sure. Huh? I think there's a new Axel F. Uh, Axel Foley movie, maybe. Yeah, uh, I heard that too. Beverly Hills, Hills Cop. Beverly oh, Hills Beverly Hills Cop? Cop? A new one with, yeah, I heard that. With Eddie Murphy. Yeah. That would be I don't awesome. know, man. Well, fucking Eddie ain't what he used to be. <laughs> Who is? Oh, it's Barefoot Barefoot calling you out on that there, huh? We're putting that big chunk of, well, not big chunk, but a nice little worm uh this is some good bubble hash. <laughs> worm we're gonna put on top of the there you go. Hey, man, uh, man what, what temp are you hitting your hash at? Uh, Miss G-Bay likes her hot, so I'm just running her temps right now, and it's, well, 525. That's not hot. Well, it's hotter than... <laughs> that's my daytime. That's my daytime heat. My nighttime that's, your daytime, that's your daytime heat? Yeah, my nighttime heat's 545. Nice. That's, that's, that's nighttime awesome. heat. Respectable. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Well, I, uh, I wake and baked with some cat of hula this morning, which just made me so happy because it was the first time I was able to try that, the ball vape, and was just, man, that and coffee together. It was, it was one hell of a fucking mixture, I gotta say that. Oh, yeah, bro. Like, fucking ball vape and coffee, especially when the strains actually mix well. Mm. Well, the Catahoula works for me, right? It's for the last year. It's been the favorite in my collection. So, yeah, it's, yeah. But now Adam's Grapple Fritter got me just like, fucking just like, TV for my bunghole. And no, not because I got the shits. <laughs> no, too much. Look at this body. G-Bay's got a snake in his grass. There's a snake. There's a snake in his boot. A snake. A snake? Is it a sneaky snake? Is it, is it, is it gonna be a sneaky snake? Don't step on snack. Very sneaky snake. Don't don't step on snake. Is it the kind that when you light it, it grows? It could. Oh God, I hope not. If so, fucking throw that shit out. I'm staying out of this conversation. <laughs> you, know, you, know you, you know how much of that old shit back in the day you used to fucking inhale them old fucking smokes you thought them fucking from the from them old caterpillars you know you thought oh, you were yeah. shit uh, fucking thought that smoke smelled good and I can only imagine how toxic that shit is you can't, you can't have fireworks except sparklers that are giving off noxious fumes three feet oh man I grew up when it was awesome and they yeah. threw all kinds of shit and let you burn it and blow it up and didn't give oh. a fuck yeah, we had that too in you know, other events but like you go to the general store and buy sparklers to play with it's like, <laughs> what the hell do you want to set on fire because a sparkler will do it yeah, dude. Hey, man, if you taped enough of them motherfuckers together, apparently you can make a bomb out of them. Like a hey, wait, well, maybe this is an allegedly thing. We don't say this. All right, never mind. Uh, right, 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 right there. 
Um, <laughs> I want to answer this one for little E Bud. The uh, grapple fritter that I'm smoking tonight and the catahoula I was smoking earlier were both grown with grow dots. And from what I could see, I am happy with what, what, what I am seeing there. It is plug and play. And as long as you can stay on top of the watering, uh, that seems to be the biggest thing. Because they these will fucking grow and they will put roots out. But I'm like, it's just, yeah, there's, I've seen a few times where they'll just, they'll suck everything out and I'll come home from work and they're just, they're, it's completely dry. And you're like, oh shit. Like they dry out too quick. All where no, they do, do can dry out too quick. So you, you got to watch it. You still got to be diligent. It, it is the plug and play. They, I don't, I hadn't grown the cuts of grape diamonds out before, uh, with, uh prior to the grow dot. So I don't know if, it was the terps were not great on them. Like they definitely had great bubble gum, but it wasn't as strong as I remember the pheno that I had before. And is that because I was growing organically before with different stuff or is that grow dots? I can't say because I was growing different uh, seeds, different phenos that grow around. Whereas the catahoula I have grown out before it might, I don't think it was, it was quite as fragrant as it is when I typically grow it, to be honest, but it is still like deathly fucking potent and it's, you know, it, it still stinks. It, it is what it is. I just, or maybe my carbon filters are kicking ass, right? And that's stopping the room. Now, question for you on it. When you were finishing it off, did you notice a difference in the fade versus when you were feeding your Catahoula and stuff, you know, previous one before grow dots that you were doing a maintenance type feeding to that or did the grow dots like peter out quicker or did they stay just i i I was pre-warned that if on certain strains if they feed heavier maybe give them a little bit more than the directions on the package say to Mm -hmm. it might have actually been little e-bud that did recommend that to me i i can't recall whoever it was so i i started this off knowing because the catahoula like i said i know that strain i've I've played with it before for a year So like let let's go. I gave it extra, and there was very little. Uh, what's the word? Senescence uh, in the leaves. Uh, most of them so all it lasted started. right through them. Yeah, they. It, cool. But I, like I said, I gave them a little bit more than uh, the package said to because I, I I was worried, and you know I just well I just didn't want to fuck. But if you didn't burn the tips and stuff on them, so you didn't have any issues like that. So. No. No, and then also no deficiencies, which yeah. is really nice when if I because I, I would like to do a whole bunch of camping and stuff this year. And you've heard me you guys say a lot of times now I'm trying to spend a huge chunk of the year um on the road working. Uh so what that would mean if I come home right now, the way things have been, I'll spend if I get four days off. I spend three of those days in the garden, getting everything caught up and straightened out and everything. So it's, I'm trying to figure out how can I do a little bit less so I'm doing less catch up kind of thing. Right. And if you're not chasing deficiencies, right, if I can get, if you can get to the point where I can even convince the girlfriend to brew a microbe tea even once a week, or it would even be like once a shift really because I mean, I could brew the other one the next week when I would come home, right? So it's, um, yeah. I, I'm happy with them. Is what I gotta say. I, I know I can do better. I've done better uh, with with that Catahoula cut, but at the same time, I'm not lacking. So like my harvest weeds was there, about on par with what I would I would have thought. Uh, the plants are strong. They're healthy. I like to use grow dots when you got sick plants that need uh, just a shot of health or whatever. Where again, you give them some grow dots and put them in their corner under light for, you know, and just keep them watered. And it might take a couple of weeks to bring the fucking dark green back to them, but it will. And then for the Hunza Valley seeds that I got, those Pakistanis, uh, for that seed increase run, I'm going to use grow dots. I gave it uh, about two and a half mils worth of grow dots uh, in the solo cups before I left for my 10, 11 day shift that I'll be gone for. So it'll get it used to it. And then I'm going to go home. I'm going to transplant them and give them their proper dose for whatever size containers I decide to run them in. And we'll run them like that. And uh, now 
do you mix those throughout your soil that you're like do you like figure out okay here's my first you know the bottom third of my pots full now you mix some of that grow dots with the soil or do you just like put some soil in and sprinkle it and then like like uh you know put layers in of the grow dots or i try to in kind of one spot i'll put like a soil down in the bottom of the pot or you know like say if we're using a three gallon which i've done more grow dots in that size let's say put the bottom say third uh, soil in there and sprinkle in i think for they want three tablespoons worth of grow dots for a three i think it's like a tablespoon per gallon kind of thing yeah, yeah. um they'd so i'll put probably two tablespoons worth down there mix it in maybe throw a little bit more dirt in mix that in there as well and then kind of build us or build up my soil and then the other tablespoon kind of in and down and around the sides yeah uh, at some point just One curious i guess because i've if you top water, you can do that, and I'm sure everything will be fine. But I do a lot of bottom watering, right? So it, it's if you can get that them down into the kind of root zone area, and yeah, it's like I said, right? Mo moisture unlocks the nutrients in those, you know, the capsule, the way it works. So they got to get moist at some point. So if you're going to bottom water the whole time, you know, you probably got to mix them throughout that soil that way you know they're not on the top layer where it's the driest yeah that's what i did too uh i did basically two-thirds of the grow dots in the bottom half of the pot and then when i because that's where i measure to do the transplant and then the top half gets the uh other tablespoon because i don't want to fry them right off the bat with a whole lot you know, it makes them work to get down into the, where the, you know, more of it is. So, but it's, I've never had an issue with it not having the ability to like, you know, get a really nice root ball at the end. Right. <laughs> That's, I'm sure you had the same thing, a nice full pot of roots. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're nice. Well, and. It's uh, Hooli's freaking uh, sour diesels that he sent my way. Those are in one gallon pots with the grow dots right now. The plants are four feet tall and dark green. Yeah. Most There's a few freaking yellow leaves on the one plant. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Clay pipes. Yeah, I did a sea of green like that using the one gallons of grow dots. And yeah, four foot tall, you know, from the ground up. So the plant's probably three feet you know a little over from the pot up the nice thing with those is it's a consistent thing as long as you run with straight it's like you know cal mag heavy that goes give me more but you will get those strains and if you read that in your nutrition you know the plants are giving you the signs add cal mag i mean that's or magnesium sometimes is all they need yeah. All right. The importance of knowing which one it actually needs, not just fuck it. Cow mag it up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of times, you know, and a lot of times it's a water thing because water, you're, uh, if you're using tap water from a well, you may have all the calcium you need, but not the magnesium necessarily. So. That's what I run into most of the time is uh, I'm, I've got enough calcium bicarbonate and it sits in the soil long enough. You know, it's getting broke down. I'm constantly adding more by watering. But what I don't have is enough fucking magnesium to keep up, uh, you know, not in the fucking water system. So I always catch, you know, myself getting quite not not quite magnesium deficient, but I'll always, you know, have a kind of the the veinage you know because easiest way is something yeah it's... yeah yeah you start to notice that mag deficiency where it where where you might think you're starting to get like nitrogen deficient or something you know so uh you know that that oh man what is it like inter intervenal you know yeah. yellowing i believe is what they what it is but right i always end up just foliating it to cure it and so i end up chasing it for a little while until the end of the season when i can kind of remix some more in and then realize i didn't put enough in and start the cycle all over again <laughs> well, i'm a huge fan of epsom salts because uh, yeah, i get them cheap by the bag at my uh the 
farm field store out there. <laughs> I just, you know, I'll throw a handful of those in every time I brew up a tea. And I feel like it, which leads me to, because I, I used to really struggle with identifying, well, is it the calcium or the magnesium, right? I've been told it's in everything fucking looks, yeah, I just, I, I struggle with deficiencies to, to identify. But once I started using uh, Epsom salts regularly, uh, it's I very rarely get deficiencies. You uh, eating right. some fucking fruit cap or what? Yeah. yeah. Mangoes or papayas? Uh, look like papayas, I think. You're muted, Cap. Sorry, yeah. I'm out here. It actually looks like Duran, which is stinky fruit. Oh, dirty. But oh, yeah. I, I have never seen this tree give fruit. Because if you look farther up in the tree, they're all black. So this is the first time I've actually got to see this tree fruit. We better fucking grab a few at all levels and see when it's ripe. I got some good shit. Uh, the shit I've got ants all over me now. <laughs> but uh, no, the country of Thailand told me I have to go visit my parents for an extended period of time now. But these are getting ripe. I nice. still have a few more green ones of these around. There's one right there. And then more ones right to be picked. If you want one, I'll bring you one home. We can bring you a, a rooted yeah. plant. <laughs> that motherfucker probably lasts about four <laughs> seconds in my climate. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah, you're, 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 so, you're south of Ill, Indiana, or yeah, Illinois, so you'll be fine, actually. You think that would make it, it gets, through a fucking harsh winter? It gets, it gets down into the 30s here at night during the winter time. Well, yeah, but we'll get straight up hard frost, and that's usually the problem where those will die out is getting the hard frost in the ground, so. Uh, the watermelon that I have, I'm actually picked up a really nice one the other day, and I'm going to pull all the seeds back out of that. Those grow uh, perfectly fine in Michigan. Yeah. yeah watermelon <laughs> should be pretty easy. That'd be fun. I, I would. It would be. It'd be interesting. I don't think I've got any. I think I've got maybe a couple like. Chinese varieties that came from like Baker Creek. I don't have any other like uh, Asian varieties of fruit that so it would be kind of neat. I tell you, you, you'd bite into one of these watermelons and you go, I'm moving to Thailand. <laughs> they are so sweet. They're like watermelons back in like the 70s. Yeah. 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 <laughs> One of the big boys. Yeah, that's, that's been my thing, man. I want to find a good fruit like that. Uh, you know, like all, all of the bread watermelon that I've personally tried has been very water with not a whole lot of melon or sweetness or anything. And no matter how I tried, you know, I mean, you can only adjust the outside environment so much. But, you know, when the environment's right and it's still, you know, not really picking up that sweetness, you know. It's just not, you know, at that point, it's the goddamn melon. You know, it ain't what I'm doing, so. <laughs> yeah, I paid $4 for this melon, almost. Good looking melon. Good looking melon. Yeah. Nice melon, Cap. Hey, hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a PG show. Hey, Donkey Kong 10. So I'm going to pull the seeds out of that and hopefully they'll be dry enough to bring them home on the 10th because that's when they told me I have to leave by actually the 12th. <clears throat> How long are they saying you got to come back here for? Between three and four months minimum. Oh, 
Well, well they changed the laws. Court. They changed the laws here in Thailand this past month. And when they did that, seems to be a kind of regular put, thing in Thailand. They like to change it the put laws. me in a wrong position. <laughs> yeah. Why is that? Right. Well, you're Go not supposed to stay to here more than six. You, you're not supposed to stay here more than six months. Oh, and like I kind of hit like. Get. I kind of hit like seven years. <laughs> He's a fucking illegal man. Because of, because of my bank account and because of how much I travel out of the country, they never gave me shit about it. All of a sudden, we go from a 60-day visa to a 30-day visa. Now you get 60 days when you come from the States again, but now they're limiting on how long you can actually stay here, even though you do travel for a couple weeks at a time out of the country. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, the lady told me, she goes, you know, you are old enough for a retirement visa. I said, yeah, a couple years ago. <laughs> I get a lot That's of shit funny. from the people at Irie for only using my age when it's to my advantage. I'm like, well, duh. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not quite well, empty, Jay. There's, there's like a fucking... There's like a dime bag in that motherfucker left for that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'll use the age gimmick occasionally for coffee. You know, you get away with the gray and enough gray in the beard, you can get the dollar cup of coffee at McDonald's. I'm sorry, that shit right <laughs> across the Canadian border, friend. I mean, come on. I and I don't want visit. to be old enough to use it yet, but I feel like I could if I wanted to. I mean, and I'm not even actually that goddamn now. old. Yes, I didn't are. ask the first couple times. I just all of a sudden they're like, "That's a dollar seven, you know, because the price was sales tax." And I'm like, "What?" She goes, "I gave you the senior discount." Oh, <laughs> all right, <laughs> dude. I fucking look like a homeless guy, so I go in there and people assume that I can't afford to come. Eyeballing me like I'm gonna run out the fucking door with it or something. Like that. <laughs> I just show them my AARP card. <laughs> hey, I just got one of those in the mail this week. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club. I, got, I remember when I got like my first mailer for it, and I'm like, you motherfucker, oh you guys it. have no idea how old I am. Like, what the like, fuck? It took, me, it took me until right. the month before I turned 65 to finally go, oh, fuck it. I I cash out. I retire. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> give me my discount. Fuck it. Give me, give me my, give me my tattoo. I'm ready. <laughs> hey, at least now you get preferred parking. Uh, you know, you get every everybody gives you a discount on just about fucking everything because you're old. So it's, I mean, it's a beautiful thing, man. Why, why, why do you, why, why did you have to put off this this wonderful you, blessing bestowed upon you by age? Jesus Christ. Fuck I'm going to take full advantage of it. You're going to reward me for making it to this point where you can say right. the second they can, can give me that out. shit, it's fucking mine. Uh, <laughs> I retired at the very Just, earliest I could retire and still collect money. And that was at 59 and a half. And that's only because my poor, dearly departed husband, who I did not kill. Bullshit. Passed away, <laughs> it passed away and <laughs> left me with survivors. They're called survivors benefits. And I could start collecting those at 59 and a half and Shazam, I was on it. It did look a little suspect. 20 years away but. for me. That's maybe that should be my new goal. They keep telling us retirement age is like 65 or somewhere even closer to 70. I heard rumors of uh, by the time I get there. Hey, I, I like the idea of in my face. So that's what I'll see. Oh hell, I'm right, I'm, right, I'm right in the middle of uh, all the insurance companies have to send me shit and court me stuff and yeah, 
Come talk to us. Come talk to us. Come talk to us. Like, I don't know. I, I retired. Weeks. I retired 16 days after my 23rd birthday. Good for you. It took well, me all of probably about three seconds to do you. it. Because Nobody's that's about how there. long it took me to throw, fell, fall down the 34 feet of scaffolding. <laughs> oh. oh, that's kind of Yeah. Cool. Yeah, mine was a work accident that retired me in very quickly. Yeah, at least so, yours was a quick one. Mine was a slow, drawn out, painful process. Yeah, 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 or it took yeah. me out. Yeah, the quick and quick it out. Yeah, he are, took the fucking quick, way. easy route. God damn it. Look at, he, yeah. hasn't, he hasn't been bent over him and broken by the man. He can't possibly be collecting them, Jack. He knows I don't it, get any. He, he I didn't know, have he enough time now. butthole still feels like. Yeah, but they, <laughs> did, didn't they uh, disable your ass when you fell all that way? Yeah, I'm permanently disabled, but at eight, 16 days after your 23rd birthday, you don't have enough credit hours to reach Social Security disability. That's true. Ooh. Oh, shit. I, I get zero, guys. Zero. Damn. So me growing pot back in the 90s and early 2000s, yeah, that was how I made my money. Yeah, that's a victim of the system, man. What you got to do, man. That, that's the kind of shit that pisses me off that the system works like that. It's like, really? When somebody gets fucked up at any age, there should be, you know, get the coppers out. Yeah, safety net for some. Yeah, because it's more than likely some ne'er do all is going to fuck you up and you're not going to. Well, that's the deal. They have the, they have the safety net for it. The problem is they've made it a game to fucking try to get it or fucking apply for it or fucking keep it. So, you know, I mean, it, people who deserve it sometimes aren't even smart enough to know how to fucking get it. You know what I mean? Well, or I, maintain it. So it's, it's a fucking rigged ass system. I've applied six times, and when I go back, I'm just going to pay the lawyer like the two, three thousand dollars and have the lawyer do it. And then it's going to take anywhere from six months to two years to get disability. It's not going to be Social Security disability, but it's going to be something at least. You know, something is better than nothing. I mean, they gave me a chunk of money, but they gave me a chunk of money, but I, I spent $70,000 on doctors over the past eight years. Yep. That's easy. To do. So <laughs> that, that took was half that, my money. Was that here in the States or was that over there? Oh, here, imagine and just think of how much more that would have cost here. My understanding on some of the medical stuff for billing, the price to uh, when I go to see the doctor at the hospital to get my prescription every 45 days because I make a 30 day prescription last 45 because I don't hurt as much here. And I go there and the doctor charges me 350 or 400 baht for the office visit. That's 10 to $12. Uh, my pain management doctor in Michigan is 150. And it's only because I've been seeing him since 2013. <laughs> it's, a bull, it, it's a bullshit racket. Pain management yeah. is the biggest bullshit racket of all. Yeah. And hey, when I go to the pharmacy, guy. though, <laughs> it, it's like, you know, my prescriptions are like $30. You know but what? My doctor this, this fees is 150 And th th this is uh, one of the joys, and this is why I come on and we talk about the weed and stuff because of that. I don't fucking use those prescriptions. They can suck and shove those prescriptions up their ass. Um, I have managed three spinal surgeries. Well, two. Uh, the first one, uh, I wasn't allowed, but 
uh, two spinal surgeries using nothing but fucking cannabis to get me, you know, for pain management, you know? So, uh, you know, that's why I will forever kind of tout this plant and be fucking forever grateful for all it does. So, you know, uh, man, I don't know. Yeah. Right. I get it. You know, if I've, I've been there where we're on that road. <laughs> So, when I came but, out of the hospital, they had me on nine different medications, and I was literally taking about 40 pills a day. Now with cannabis, I take three pills and anti-acid for my stomach and cannabis. That is it a day. Yeah. It's, it's fucking amazing medicine that helps her a lot of shit. And that's I do take diazepam. <laughs> that's, that's, that's why we all fucking gather and celebrate this wonderful fucker and get stupid. Should we do a dab? Exactly. I think, so. I think that's yeah. fucking dab worthy. Hey, 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 Blue Kiss, what are you getting ready to fucking think about possibly uh, rolling in the garden this year? Do you have your garden picked out for this year? You don't know. You don't fucking want to talk to me. It's fine. Fine. <laughs> Whatever. She's done too good for you. She said, I got a dab to do and you can eat my fucking ass. I am not about to talk to you until this dab is done. So... <laughs> or unless you eat her ass, whichever comes first. Yeah, yeah, whichever comes first. I, I don't have a Gene Simmons tongue, man. We ain't getting there from here. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I tried to make up the camera earlier there on the video. <laughs> well, you know, I, I do what I can. You go, now you're just going to give us hand signals. Are you going to learn ASL and just start fucking doing stuff for us? And Will you be our fucking show interpreter? Never, you have to fucking, you have to like sign everything we do. There's your sign. <laughs> Look, you're number one. You're number one. Here's your hey, sign. Question. Da, 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 da. Is there a Canadian sign language versus American sign language? Is oh, that's a good point. Like, how do you say A in fucking CSO? <laughs> like, you know that shit comes up a lot. Hey. My wife hey. might be able to tell you. Miss she <laughs> the sign language, I don't know fuck all. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Because I know it's called American Sign Language. I know there's an international one, too, but I don't have a... Technically, Canada's part of America, so... Yes, I think yeah. it's all the same shit. Yeah, yeah but it says I'm American like, Sign Language, like not the Northern United Canada. States of Sign Language. Should I go the, more you, uh, turkey I don't know, or man. more chunky this time? Chunky. Uh, Chunky. Get, nah, fucking terpy, man. Get them oils fucking all laking in there. Oh, it smells. I guess like, it smells like an outhouse. It's hilarious. It smells like a blue Port of John. Like, like, the, like the cherry or like the fucking straight up like just that weird mean? chemi blue? That, yeah, the bubble it's, gum. Yeah. yeah, it's not too good, but it's good. <laughs> oh, the bubble gum. I forgot about the bubble gum. Well, I ain't smelled that one in a while. Yeah, I've had yeah. Stash Ambrosia Bliss on so much better than what toilets and what are you doing? My a little bit of wet. My buddy gave me some bubblegum flour there about a week ago. I was like trying that out. It was like it tasted like smoke and like basement scuzz almost. It was so dank. I was expecting <laughs> like sweet and sugary and like well, some I feel like, like I'm spoiled there. here. It's like I, I'm I'm dabbing angel's piss or something. I don't know. Have you ever heard that um, Kevin Bloody Wilson song, uh, Born Again Piss Tank? Or it's like, he, so. he's a comedy based uh, Aussie, right? It is as funny as like uh, talking about like getting the, the gist of it is to the two worst days of his life was the two days he tried to get sober and after he gets drinking, he goes, and it feels like an angel just pissed on me, tonsils. Or the whole <laughs> man herself. <laughs> yeah. He's great. I recommend him to anybody. Check him out. He's fucking awesome. A kind of phrase I didn't realize, huh? Big old, Ooh, did you make one heart again? Oh, he's late. Oh, my. <laughs> a little better late than that at all. That could mean a couple things. 
Oh. Got a new piece of glass today. Oh, oh for you. Big word. It's the big screen, you bud. Oh, yeah. It's pretty. And oh, cool. I like that. That's like super cool. Is, uh, is, 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 is that like by a certain person or anything? Like, uh, no, it's just something I happened to find under the, in the glass case at the shop today because I went in to get an O-ring to seal up my metal pipe. Oh, did you blow out your O-ring? Yeah, so I went to go get an O-ring, yeah. and I'm sitting there I waiting. Hate when that happens. There's two other again. people doing stuff, you know, shopping. Uh, and uh, Mexican nights are up. And so when I'm sitting there letting the fellow behind the counter tend the other people that were there ahead of me i'm sitting there looking at this thing in the case and it was like after about five minutes uh staring at this basically i was like you know what i think i'm gonna get that and, uh, just really nice the, the head's not the stubby little spoon type that's the was part of the appeal they had so many of them that are just a little four inch long and I hate lighter flash that close to my face anymore. It's like, get it out a few more inches. and The old eyeballs don't care for having that flick of the bick that close. Yeah, it happens. I, I guess the old fuck welder eyes to get used to it. You're like, man, that's sparky. It didn't even fuck with my eye. Fuck it. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> that ain't enough spark to fuck with my eye. We fuck it. We sparked them bitches right in there. Hey, I talk. <laughs> I burnt myself freaking with the lighter so fucking bad this morning. Like, and I don't, I still don't know how I pulled off. It's like right in the, like the middle of the thumb there at the knuckle on the inside. How the fuck did I grab a blazing hot lighter? Like and like that, I I I don't understand the physics of it. I really don't. It, like, it's Were you like, outdoors? No, I was in the truck, car driving into uh, town. I've had flit where I've gone to light stuff, and because of a, a slight breeze, will turn that flame in towards that area, and it's just because the flame tickles it for a split second. You're like, how the fuck did I burn? And well, I know the lighter was hot because you know, like how you like you hang up, you heat up the air fresheners with a lighter to get rid of the weed smell in the car. Right? Oh, okay. so I, that's what I was doing. So that's how the lighter got hot. It did like so. There, I have an explanation for that, but yeah, I don't yeah. recall what the fuck I did to have like grabbed it in such an awkward position because like it's like I said, I would have had to get like the hot part of the lighter right there, and I just I, I don't know. It was clearly too high to be paying attention to what I was doing, but <laughs> but you spinning it around and didn't realize you were spinning it around or something. We're you know playing with a lighter. Maybe, maybe. So uh, absent-minded twiddling of a lighter is right. not uncommon. That's no, right. it's it, it isn't. I, I well, it's. I'm a, I'm a fiddler. I, I really am. So I, I, I try and deny it like uh, I couldn't have been me doing that. But it's I, I am real fidgety, actually, if I'm sitting there like I, if I can't keep my. You know, I'm not sure if it's an anxious thing or not. But oh, yeah, we're trying Look to at the back any school bus seat from the 80s and 90s. Or probably before that, too. They all got lighter, lighter, happy faces in them. Oh, bro, I was laughing my ass off. Yeah. Fucking, if you look at uh, fucking Clay, Clay's uh, fucking cap, he's got a hell of a nice top cap. Fucking uh, a brand right now of his of the top of his vape. <laughs> I said I asked you guys if they work like car lighters, and it obviously does. This, when this when you said that for like a brand, good. I didn't realize you meant like trying to brand your ass. Yeah, they'll absolutely brand your ass. <laughs> yeah, we've used, yeah, when, they when will. We were, when we were in high school, these things would get so hot, and then you just walk up and you know uh, into somebody's arm or something, and 
<laughs> oh, yeah, Dumb shit like that. That would suck. Dude, you're just yeah. sitting around, especially at night around a campfire kind of thing. You got a bonfire with about 20 people. You're just sitting there, and your lighter's getting used, and it comes back to you, and it's it's hot. You just or the bowl. The person next to you is ignoring you, and you're trying to pass it, so you touch him with the bowl and watch him. It's like, oops, I forgot right. the pipe was hot. You put and, the fucking hot bowl in your pocket, not thinking about oh. it, not against your leg. Anyone ever done that? Bro, yeah. okay, so like the equivalent of like accidentally like putting the fucking cherry of you like your joint in your mouth or something. Like I was sitting there fucking around heating up one of my Dynavaps. Like anybody who knows one of that, you heat up the tip of it with your torch for a good little long while and then you hit it like a one hitter. Well, instead of turning around to put the mouthpiece in, the fucking end I've been sitting there hitting the <laughs> torch, I stuck right in there, clamped on that motherfucker, and then dude, it was like literally stuck both my lips to that motherfucker like i pulled it off and it was stuck there oh man i fucking sucked so bad dude dude i'm, I'm dealing with this so bad. right now i got smacked in the face by a branch that i went to cut and it fucking like rat tailed me and split my lip and oh my god thinking of torn lips and stuff like that is just an irritating thought right now it's like this they won't heal Holy yeah. shit. You see that kid, kid? This is the one thing I always worry about that will happen to me is I'm going to put that bitch in my lap. I'm going to do a cartoon dance while that motherfucker's just jumping from fucking burn to burn on me. <laughs> yeah, the worst one is to stick into your pocket when I was a cigarette smoker, I carried a Zippo. And those things would get hot as hell when you got a, a fairly windy day and it only take a second or so of a breeze to literally have that flame so hot that that zippo gets really warm and yeah those big chunks of metal in your oh bro really like so one you would overfill the zippo so then you'd <laughs> fucking have to you'd have to fucking you either had the fucking burn from all the fluid just sitting there on your fucking leg or, and or then you had to fucking leave it there and burn long enough that yeah, it fucking burned like a mother you get hot as shit and then you put it back in. I, I feel you, dude. I love I Zippo. Had buddy, I had a buddy that would get the lighter fluid into his pant leg and then hit it with his lighter and then bat it out. And it, no, <laughs> it, would, it would dry it out faster, he said. I'm like, hell yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You're just so like it, so it also, fire, so it I, also yeah. made the big ass fucking stain that the fucking lighter fluid made in your pocket way worse. Yeah. Yeah. I um I just got an email. But you love the Zippo, right? <laughs> I just got an email notification saying that Ubi just bought us ten doobies off the buy me a what? Uh, link there that you can all be clicking up here that uh, Jay Patrick's going to be putting up there for us. No, that definitely means Hoobie gets a dab for him. Thank you, brother. Oh, yeah. Thank and a you. Back. Thank you. Hoobie, you bad motherfucker, you. Yeah, we love you. Here, Hoobie. I actually now have a question um, for anybody oh, listening that might deal with the Buy Me a Coffee app. I tried withdrawing the money. As you all know, we use, we're use we using that as a get-out-of-jail release fund for our brother, Terp, who's getting out in, like, what, a little over a week at this point, I think? Wow. Um, and when you Imminent. hit the button on it, it says, uh, you know, it'll be the following Wednesday. Now, Eight days. Two Tuesdays ago, and it was saying and it's been uh, a couple Wednesdays now, and so I'm still like, like, oh, what the hell's going on here? Is this normal? I, I Or should I be worried? I don't know. But it's been multiple Wednesdays since then. I'm like, huh, nothing's going on. Because I'd like to, you know, hand a homie some fucking cash when he gets the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah, I know I know he's got his release date. And then um, uh, one of the guys that helps set him up with, like, communications, like a phone and things like that, he gets to talk to that guy on the 5th or 7th seven he told me so he'll get out on the second 
and then he'll have you know a couple days where he'll like go dark and get his shit together but then i should hear from him a little bit after that so okay. that's 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 how much i know so far i know they got him in a couple programs to get him out there do some some job training and things like that so yeah fingers fucking crossed hopefully he can fucking get out there and get get yeah. fucking stabilized you know yeah but yeah, so and to everybody who did fucking help support, man, um, you know, big, big thank you to everybody out there who helped. Uh, you know, it does not go unnoticed. Uh, he is just fucking flabbergasted by everybody's generosity and help. Uh, so, you know, fucking thank you. Thanks to everybody. Yeah. I, I, I think we should do a dab for everybody that's uh, helped to support Terp uh, in any way. Oh yeah. Our salute to y'all. Thank you. And it's just a good excuse to do a dab and get up. <laughs> but it is a good cause. Yeah, dab up. Thank you, Dave. Thank you up, I mean. Thank you, up. The fucking bulb. Oh, it's that turned on. <laughs> right, oh, it was the last one we did. I went to go do it and looked over, and the thing shut itself off. I like, oh, Man, I, I, I don't know why. Like Too I said, long. I don't know why you guys have not set that option any better than that. Well, sometimes I don't know. I, I must like have tested just some. So I smelt a little bit of like hotness, and I just turns off because I didn't, you know. It turns out it was paranoid just ass. <laughs> Because <laughs> I honestly, it's I just feel like it's not fire safe to have it in a mode where it can burn twenty four seven, and my fucking ADHD ass will fucking just squirrel. That's my my. So yeah. I'm like, if it if it at least shuts itself off every couple hours, and the worst thing I have to do is you know, and it's always during a show that it happens, right? It's like just not always. <laughs> Uh, but it's you know it's not the end of the world to me. It's a little bit. It's a minor inconvenience. It takes another couple minutes to heat up. I, uh, yeah, it, it does. I'll tell you what I do like. Uh, I've got a new one that has a real nice uh, PID unit on it, and it literally just has a fucking quick on off fucking button on it. So like, it, it is nice to be able to shut it off. But it is nice to just say like, all right, I sat down, turn it on. I'm getting up, turn it off. You know. And it's that easy with with no like I know it seems like a fucking super minor inconvenience, but just like holding that button down for five seconds and waiting for it to, um, you know, shut off while you have something in your mind that you need to be going to do. I, maybe that's just for somebody like me. That's entirely too long to have to wait on fucking something to do something it's just, it's as simple as turning off. So. So I, I kind of get that, but there he is. Yeah, just, uh, we're, we're sitting over here turning ours off, and you got like multiple ones on different levels of your house. <laughs> <laughs> Fluff's a junkie, okay. I, I dude, I love vapes. I do. I I mean, when I was a fucking nicotine vapor, I fucking had all kinds of customizable and bullshit vapes. Uh, I just turned it. Uh, I don't nicotine vape anymore, so now I spend it on fucking weed vapes. That's fine, man. You you know you, you're that's that's there's the a hobby lot. part of this for me is the, the so, vaping like purchases is the hobby part for me. Dude, I think that's the addiction part of it for you. <laughs> like people <laughs> have a glass addiction. Yes, I, I said yes. The vapes are my oh, fucking I glass. Knew, I need new sapphires. As, absolutely, vapes are my fucking glass. And absolutely. Bro. Nah, man, Rudy's are here to stay, I think, for a little while. <laughs> okay, I want emeralds mine. I imagine yeah. um, so that uh, she grows the dank, the contest winner there for the last one. She's got to be getting hers before too long, I would think. I saw something on IG that uh, he was packing up more. They're uh, fairly recent. I can't remember how long. I think he said. I think he said he was all caught up with those orders too. So yeah, it should be. I wonder if she's at least got her tracking and say it's on the on its way now. Yeah. I know. Cool. I sent out tracking to all of our fucking seed winners. So 
everybody who uh, or the three the three winners we had what was that Sunday morning. Uh, I sent out all their seeds. So good on you. Yeah, man. It only took fucking. It was within the week, like I promised it would be. It was at the very end of it. I did what I said. Yeah. Good job. My old lady, I'm pretty sure, got all service, the, the mail. Service that I was with a smile. Look at right? I try, man. I try. Because I know if I just sit there and fucking... <laughs> yes, sir. Fucking that is... It's kind of like tattoos and glass and strains and anything else that you like to acquire. It would sound better if it was Vag, though. So what can we change to ask for a G on this? No, Vast is good. Vast deference. Yeah, there, there's there's a precedence. <laughs> Especially this weekend being March Madness, man. That's like National Vast Deference getting oh, cut shit. weekend. There you go. Damn, it's, it's March Madness going on right now. I didn't even think about it. My old madam, he, he's big on college basketball this time of year. I'm surprised he wasn't on the coach watching. Right There's now. a reason why he retired. Oh, trust March me. March Madness is dark. I, I hear all about this stuff. <laughs> it's, 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 man, I, yeah, I could see myself retiring and just he's as like, the fall season starts. He thought, the boss thought he was going to get him to come in on the first day of the March Madness. He's like, no, nope, that's all she wrote. Are you Make him go high? work out of town just as here you go. <laughs> you. Here's your gas. Here's your keys. I'm how out many, here. Yeah. How many years in a row can you get a vasectomy to get off work? <laughs> well, as many as you need. Oh. New job, new vasectomy. <laughs> and well, how much attention does your boss really want to pay to your nuts? So he might not. Yeah, maybe he's not. Maybe. And if, if something is brought up, say, well, I only had the one side done. Yeah, bro, there's nothing better than making your well, boss pay attention to your nuts. I, I just had the one side done. Oh, they're doing the other side. I'm getting it reversed oh. this year. It appears there was some kind of healing that happened. Test um, came back. Well, that's, that can happen, though. One yeah, of my good can. friends was telling me that it was his boss, I believe, who his wife got pregnant. He didn't. Huh. He thought she was stepping out on him. She had the paternity test and everything. It was absolutely his kid and everything like that. But really the trust so. was kind of broken because, you know, he accused her of cheating and stuff like that and turned out. Yeah, he said some things like you're a fucking whore and stuff, probably. Probably. Yep. Yeah, I, no, I, I yeah. Shit, you, <laughs> yeah, you, you know those words that fucking came out. You turned to dial that shit back. Yeah, you can't really reel that one in once you let that one fucking fly. Yeah. I was yeah. Yeah. Cunt. I, like, I, <laughs> I yeah. hope you wow. felt really, really, like, I, I can understand. I knew you. I can understand getting angry and be and maybe questioning it because, like, hey, I just like practically have my nuts chopped off. What, how, how is yeah, this? Even why are you pregnant? But let's <laughs> maybe, yeah, let's maybe just, yeah, start with maybe. an adult conversation. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, that yeah. might have been. I don't, I, I mean, I don't know if I could because I had my nuts chopped. I've been having, you know, sex for a long time. We haven't had any babies. If all of a sudden that motherfucker popped up. There'd be a lot of fucking questions. There would be a lot be, of them. To be fair, I don't know how long after the after the actual operation this was. I just know that he had had one at some point in time. It could have been twenty years. It could have been a week or two. Probably not a week. Let's be honest. Yeah, that, 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 I mean, like a little been there. I did that, and it wasn't a week before I was back. And I don't think. I, I, I when I got mine, I was I thought for sure everything would be all good, and I fucking. I was like, I got that shit done on a Friday, but on Monday I was back at work and I was working on like the fucking ninth floor of the building with no elevator. And yeah, dude, like half hour into my shift and like half a flight of stairs, I went down into the fucking boss's office and I was like, I'm going home. I can't be here today. He's, He's like laughing at your ass. I, he, he's like, well, what's up? He's like, uh, and I mean, I'm walking funny and everything, right? And shit's fucked up, right? It's not going great, you know? And uh, well, he's, well, he's well, all like, well, what's up? Well. I was like, do you want to hear the truth? Or do you want me to make up a fucking lie? He's like, well, I'd like to hear the truth. I was like, well, to tell you the truth, my fucking balls hurt. And I need to go home. And he's like, 
Fucking what? <laughs> they, 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 he's like, okay, now what was what was the lie you were gonna tell me? <laughs> yeah, that is. Yeah, what would you have told? I have no idea. I wasn't prepared to actually make up a lie. Like I think when, I was just, when your balls hurt, you can't really lie that good. I think regardless, I was going to tell the dude my balls hurt because I think I was I just really, really fucking wanting to tell the dude my nuts hurt. I had to go home. So. Yeah. Dude, they're probably swollen and discolored at that time. Too, so you can, yeah, like, if you need to see like, them, I'll this. give you proof. They look like they hurt. I, I, I offered to fucking show him for sure. Oh, I was trying to make it as uncomfortable on us as fucking possible. Be like, I think I might have pulled a, a suture. A stitch. Yeah, I think I got a right. stitch loose. Right. I mean, I, I hated this oh. fucking job. Every every bit of it, man. I was doing everything I could for this guy to be like, just don't come back, man. Fuck, I couldn't get it done. They needed help bad. When I got mine done, they do the freezing on both sides, and the freezing didn't take on the second side. And so you could feel everything that they were doing with the scalpel. And it was like you could feel it all the way up into your guts. Like, as they were, and it wasn't a lot of cuts that they're making. It sounds like the same way. It feels like hitting them. And and you still have sex today, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, like the ride home. Cause they're like, oh yeah, no, like not the that. If they're like the freezing will come out like in a couple few hours. I'm like, okay, so enough time to get home. I remember no. the next day was my daughter's first birthday, so we oh went to God. stop at the Toys R Us in this town on the way home. And it's no. a two hour drive home, and walk trying to walk through the toy store and looking, Hunched you know, over. I'm just like. Oh, and then the ride home, a bag of frozen peas on you on your every toe. fucking bump the whole way home. Man, we get frosty. It was, up it was literally laid over to the shopping Fiddle. cart at Toys R Us, so nothing had to touch. Long it was. Hey, you know what though? I might take a fucking part of it not working uh, because I during mine everything took and it was fine. There was absolutely no pain. All that was great. But when, like, fucking three young college girls walked in and they were like, don't mind these ladies. They're just here. They're just, like, students here to fucking watch. And I'm just, you know, I'm splayed out there. And I was like, when they walked in, I was making a joke with the doctor about how I shaved my nuts and, you know, whether I did it appropriately enough for surgery and shit. And he was making a joke about how, no, no, I didn't do enough. And he grabbed the razor and he was going to, you know, he was actually joking around. I was, I was quite appreci appreciative of that, right? It was fucking awkward as shit, dude. And then like, these fucking girls walk in. And I'm like, whoa, what the fuck, dude? I this went in like there, setup, like, man. Nobody told me I had to shave my nuts, so I didn't think about it because I'm not in the habit of shaving my balls. So I went in there with fucking straight up hippie dick going on. Like, guys, look at me. Imagine what my balls <laughs> look like, okay? <laughs> I, no. you know, no, it's so they had to shave that shit. <laughs> I got the royal treatment. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> Did they give you a Maybe, Maybe that's why a razor and how much was oh. that bill? Well, up here in Canada, Medicare is free, right? So it was pretty sweet. They give you a I nice fade down there. But maybe now that I think about that, was maybe they put the fucking second shot in the wrong place because they're like. Look at this disgusting, <laughs> nasty motherfucker. <laughs> we had to shave this motherfucker. He's going to feel at least one of these. Yeah, coming in here fucking looking like... Could, couldn't even shit. read the goddamn pre-fucking pre-op procedure. Well, I, I wasn't told. Honestly, I wasn't. I, I wasn't I, told. I wasn't. Ignorance is no excuse. Well, yeah, no, it's true because it's true. I don't, I don't think about shaving my balls because it's not something I'm in the habit of doing. So, well, are you I, in the habit of having people cut them open? Because I think that's not probably part of the everyday shit either. I try not to think about people using sharp objects around my testicles. Honestly, no, that's something that you should have given some thought to. <laughs> oh, it's good scary. Point. I'm thinking that would be, you know. And when the freezing doesn't stick, it is work good. It, it hurts. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Thank, God, thank, thank you. you. This one is for my nuts. Okay. <laughs> this one. This yeah, one is for all the guys nuts out there. I'm gonna be disappointed. Oh, Here's Ty. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, see, no, 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 no ass no shit no after that. Cheers. We got ass Holy chicken. Shit. Holy fuck, where's the ass chicken? <laughs> we haven't broke him out in a long time. That's I know. Like, yeah. Let's Hero. let's see if we can't keep that stretch going. Oh, I caught that one for J5 and raced it. I, I don't believe that, J5. How many fucking stranded kids you got around the fucking world? There we go. That's a J5 right there. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. This is what my life is coming. Yeah, that's ass, ass cheeks. I'm just saying. That girl got some junk in that trunk. So yeah, ass I cheeks don't know what that was. Shape the size of like testicles. Mm. Almost. You ever notice yeah, that? Yeah, something like that. I like fucking like buds. Just no, like not, the, I'm not you know, saying I'm not mad at me. I have a bird because I really don't. But that just looked wrong. It's wrong. I don't know what to smoke next. Like I said, a truck fucking swap. <laughs> hanging from hanging from the uh, trailer hitch. Oh man! Just in case anybody had doubts. I think that Very I deep. think that's really when the you can tell that uh, person's you know compensating for something when they actually oh. hang nuts on the back of their truck. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're like, look, yeah. well, I'm comfortable well, for And you can't miss it because it's already a jacked up truck to begin with. Well, and I've seen them with the bumper sticker in the back window that says, yes, it is small. And I'm like, well, uh, it, carry on, Chody boy, carry on. <laughs> you know, it's like, at least he's admitting he's compensating, but good God. Yeah, truck nuts are one of those things, and it's like the first time I saw them, I went, "What?" That, 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 I want to make that like a standard in like the back window of my car. Now they make like these nice little LED panel like strips you can just kind of like plaster to it and write nice little messages. I just want to put fucking and carry on, Chody boy. <laughs> and I just want to, I just want to get in front of people and just be like, you know what, you're right, carry on there, bud. <laughs> That's fucking great. That made me think. You remember oh, that movie Orgasmo with the dude from South Park? <laughs> fucking yes. with the, the, his sidekick Chota Boy? <laughs> oh my God. I and haven't seen that. that fucking movie in years. Dude. I've never yeah. seen that movie, which makes it even weirder for me to say that. I need to see that. Like, that is, I don't know where to find that. If somebody has that or whatever, that would be a great <laughs> movie for your Discord night. If somebody can track that down and we'll fucking stream that together. And well, it had to have come out of my consciousness some way. I mean, I'll tell you what, man, when it comes to like the fucking movie that any of those two are in, man, basketball is like the end all be all. Like that movie is just so goddamn funny. <laughs> yeah. No, those guys are just brilliant comedy, brilliant, man. Like you think of how long they've been doing Salt Park for. I stopped watching South Park really like and for no reason, right? It's not like I had anything against it. It's just I stopped watching. No, you you grow up and you grow and, like, on, and you got, probably like, 20 years since I've watched South Park with any frequency. And then I watched a few episodes a couple months ago because it was on a streaming service that the girlfriend was got the free <laughs> subscription for. And it was like, man, 20 years later, and it's still the same shit, if uh, not more, more, though it's worse, if anything, because oh. it's like they still pull no punches, and which is great to see in like the sensitive climate of the world today. Like, Holy fuck, dude! I watched their uh, their newest one, um, fucking what was it? Not not for children or something like that. And it was about like everyone in South Park starting like OnlyFans pages. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh man, I'm all I got to say. Well, I in mean, detail, not just in thought. In let me guess, Randy no. did not get rich. <laughs> Randy did Randy not, did get, not rich. get rich. 
<laughs> how, how did you know Randy was a very big part of this? Oh, well, well, look at the subject. And I haven't watched it after the first eight seasons other than like uh, sporadically. It, sporadically. Every now and then I'll catch an episode. It's just as funny as ever, but it's one of those things that kind of got burned out on it after the eight, eight first eight seasons of it. I mean, and things like the first three seasons were so fucking ahead of their time comedy mm -hmm. gold that yeah. you can't even fucking compare what it is now to the amazing train wreck of, of genius that the fucking beginning of that show was. Well, Although, it was groundbreaking. There's yeah. nothing even close to it like it at the time. And even if there was, it was on, like, you couldn't see it on TV, right? It was, like, restricted. Now you got something that's on, like, the comedy channel, I think it was, or the Cartoon Network, which I, I mean, you're just, like, okay. Yeah, like, comedy Central. Like, yeah, it was, like, same with, like, Family Guy when it came out on, like, actual, like, primetime fucking cable TV. On fucking major yeah. networks, it's like it wasn't nearly as act extreme, but it's just like wow, they you can't say that shit on TV, but there they are doing it. They're there, bro. So like, well, when they knowing the because they were saying the word shit, they said bro, shit. No, I mean, they counter in the corner, well, ding 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 for every time they said the right. word shit. I was just like, oh my god, bro. When the fucking first movie came out, I thought South Park perfect thing for me to go see to laugh my ass off and i can take my young child to because he's not gonna understand south park mm -hmm. humor right and i walked in and the first oh, scene was them singing the uncle fucker song and i was just like holy shit i was yeah, i'm in awe exactly. i'm in awe i'm fucking loving it and well it just so happened that my mom knew what i was going to and somebody must have warned her she comes storming in that theater, grab my fucking little fuck. I think he was three at the time, might have been four. <laughs> just fucking snatched his ass, walked out of there cussing me as bad as what was going in on the fucking screen. I mean, it was fucking hilarious. It was an amazing oh, shit show. Dude. And I, but but I thought I was gonna be totally cool with it. I did not realize that that was the moment they decided to really bring that shit out the fucking gate. When uh, first time we watched it, we were fucked on acid that night. I even mentioned that recently on the show, but we rented it from like a blockbuster movie or something like that. Where on the back it gave you like a count of how many swear words in it, and it's like it said like most movies are like fifteen, twenty five, or whatever. It says like uh, over three hundred and fifty, too many to count. <laughs> it's cool. We're like fuck, probably it's in the every other years word range around then when this come out, and we're just like, oh yeah, this is like gonna be prime. Get high on acid, fucking. Yeah, everything is fuckity fuckity and fucking fucking fuckity. Fuck. fuck. Yeah, fuck. we just got hundred there. Yeah. <laughs> I think we have that within the first like ten minutes of the show, but I mean, then any time you got either me and or Caribou telling a story, I mean, you pretty much rack the fucks up pretty quick. I can't. I try to be on top of it, and not swear as much as I do, honestly. But Friday nights is different. If you want to monetize, you better tell me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> well. To be honest, yeah. Well, before we go on camera, I mean, <laughs> you don't show up till after we're on camera. Hey, look, look I this. thought you took care of this in post edit. That's Jay, right. Jay, haven't you always been five minutes behind and I just never really we caught live. up? Figure that we out. Live all this time? I didn't know we were live. <laughs> Holy oh, shit, God. there's people here? <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> It's funny because sometimes it happens and you're just like a little bit off of like what's going on. Who did I talk think, about? Like, Holy crap, I'm a little unbuzzed out or something. Yeah. You know what I noticed tonight? We we got no X Men hanging out with us. There's nobody from ah. the you know, there. Nobody what? from fucking everybody saw that show and they said, Fuck this fucking shit. What what are you talking about? 
the, uh, well, the other Tuesday, was it? We were hanging out, and we had, like, 38 people from Twitter watching us. Because there's a thing on the top of my screen that tells you how many viewers are there total. And then if you hover your mouse over it, it'll tell you how many are on Twitter, how many are on YouTube. Because sure. we stream to both Great platforms. Channel. And it started with, like, four people or something like that. And I was oh, hey, that's cool. Because it's usually one or two if we get that. And then it was like slowly started rising. And it was like cool. suddenly you were a Twitter verse thing. It was amazing. You were all a twat about your Twitter or all a Twitter about your We had a lot of twats in our fucking in our feeds. But instead of calling them twats, we called them fucking X Men and it made them sound really cool. Yeah. Apparently so they liked it. So they hung around for a little bit. Made them, made them feel like they were somebody, huh? Yeah. Well, instead of twats, they got to be called fucking X Men. I mean, I'd way rather be called X Men. They, like they multiplied fly. like X Men. Yeah, man. Well, yeah. You have to be special to be a twat. <laughs> no, not really. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I tell myself that. <laughs> well, since I'm sitting on one, I think we're fine with it. Yeah, no, let's see who he was all about it or already thinking about it. Yeah, and we got none tonight. So we'll see. I wonder if that'll be. I'm curious if about that, if they'll show up any frequency at all, if it was a one time thing or whatever, or maybe just like. Come Twitter. hither from the Twatterverse. Come hither. Maybe someone shared it. Well, that I. That had I, to have been it. Somebody. Fell on the Gosh, like and share button or something. Like, listen to these folks talk. Somebody fell like, on it. Fell on That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah somebody, somebody, somebody left their, their fucking up, Twitter up. Somebody left their fu- on and fell over on that button. You know, no, somebody like, left their fucking Twitter open in their pocket while they were working out. It got all sweaty. Just started scrolling through their Twitter and fucking posting shit to people. Just I randomly mean, all over the fucking place. It could have been like <laughs> that old lady that fallen and she couldn't get up from a long time ago. It yeah. was like that, but she's like, oh, to- oh, hey, somebody help me. I my phone and these stoners won't shut the fuck yeah, up. Because it was so in her realistic. back pocket, right? And so she kept yeah, bumping she it. Reach it. She should have took some fucking yoga. Probably See, is there an accidental and smoked a fucking joint? Kind of like, well, no, because right. if, she if she took yoga, she wouldn't have fallen down and bumped her Twitter feed a million times and made us look really cool for ourselves. Well, I'm glad she bumped her Twitter feed yeah, for, for you. Like a, for like a whole night, man. We were off in, in fucking Twitter. She was all right. flutter with your Twitter. Dude, 37 people watching is like 37 strokes to get off. Like, that was, like, pretty good, I thought. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I thought was like, we're playing Afterglow, too. We're going did you that. actually, like, count them? Like, did you, I mean, are you working towards the goal? You he got told to limit, you what they like, were, he told you I'm trying to get a with my time management, okay? You guys hear me talking about how I don't have enough time these days. So I'm like, if I can cut, like, three seconds out of wanking one out. I could, <laughs> Well, okay, so it's not like a fucking but so it's not like trying to get like fifty in like thirty seconds. You're just trying to do it like super it's efficient about a fucking a stroke. It's like well, it's it always a race. Off early or I'm very competitive with myself. Know. Okay. Oh my all, right, all right. Hey man, you, you, you always got to beat yourself if you're gonna win. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Do you ever disappoint yourself? Just like oh, Jesus Christ, you didn't try to run today. Constantly disappointing myself. Why did you even, why did you even show up? <laughs> nobody disappoints me better than myself. Fuck you. But I'm really good at it. <laughs> so good at it. That's the only thing I can fucking say positive is I am so good at disappointing myself. It's unreal. I, nobody it does it better. Words crying. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I got a phone call that I'm on that I have to take, and uh, I'm going to have to leave the show. Thanks for having me on, Goodbye. and Goodbye. hopefully Goodbye. we'll Goodbye. see you Goodbye. next week. Just, uh, right. Peace, Goodbye. everyone. Goodbye. Yeah. Bye, honey. Peace. Goodbye. Oh, it's all okay. Fucking guy, glad he's gone. Wah, wah. I hope uh, that he hears talking about our orgasms or whatever it was. Uh-huh.
talking about? I can't remember. Oh, oh yeah. Dude, fucking is Ty still in there? Come on, man. Fucking how's your neighbor feeling now? We doing twitching. good? I'm twitching. My eyes twitching. I don't know what we're doing. Oh, Ty's neighbor. I'm going to hurt tomorrow. My ribs are going to hurt from laughing so hard tomorrow. I you had a good time. Holy cow. No. Yeah. Well, better fucking smoke another one then. That's how it would make you feel better. Wait, wait. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just, I got some good news text messages from my sister. I thought when we were done here in about five minutes, I was going to have to go and grab my kid. She's over at my sister's house doing movie night. Apparently, uh, one of my sisters, she'll get uh, her kids, all, all the kids from the, and the cousins and stuff like that together, and they'll put a movie, and she darts out the whole room like a movie theater, popcorn, and all the other good shit. And they're doing that. I don't got to go get her, which means I'm... As long as my mom's not in bed, well, actually, she's probably in bed. My parents go to bed early. But I was going to say, I'm going to go plunk a computer down in front of her and look at the Baker Creek website, I think. <laughs> it's fu- Isn't it weird, the shit you get excited about when you get old? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. yes, and I realized that when I bought my first lawn sweeper. <laughs> oh, like, my dude, and I was so fucking stoked to buy a lawn sweeper, dude. So fucking stoked. Yeah, that's when I realized I was like, "Fuck, I am old as shit." Oh, my dad, look what I turned into my leaves dad. Leaves the uh, leaves up into the like catch or something. Oh, I got oh, one of those now. One. Yeah, that's the upgrade, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, the three and yeah. one. Yeah, got a fucking bagger. Is... Yeah, I bet that here is neat as a fucking pin. Uh, well, not right now. I still got fucking, yeah, since I'm all need. fucking disabled and shit, I still got shit from the storm from last season to clean up, so. I don't want to hear about trees down in the yard and shit. On, man. But it's everything else around there is fucking. You got, you got all that mechanical, say. I got fucking shit people. mechanical. That's the problem. You got this kid that's, like, young he's and trapped. Home Depot. Uh, he's, he's fucking busy. He's got a life to fucking lead. Home Depot. Do his thing. Home Depot help. <laughs> you laugh. I, you know, I don't. I, I've never seen the uh, line of guys waiting for work at our Home Depot. That's all I can yeah, say. I don't go to my, my Home yeah. Depot. I know, I know it's notorious for that, so maybe if I'm looking for a worker, I'll start there. One of these times, Hoobie. One of these times. Yeah, the stereotype will be right there waiting for me on the curb. <laughs> yeah, so the rest of the you're gonna show up in a golf cart. Oh yeah, with with one of those things. Bro, I fucking own. I don't a rascal as long as they let me pimp that motherfucker out. I had a little fucking subwoofer box on the back and shit, and the motherfucker had some hydraulics on it. Get it on fucking three wheel motion have, and shit. A lot of squirrel tails hanging from the back and all kinds of shit. Oh uh, yeah, a little fucking my little pirate flag hanging off the fucking back of it. <laughs> fucking right. You <laughs> one of those tricked out golf carts like you see them folks down in the villages of Florida driving around, looking like a Mercedes van and shit. Three, you gotta have a three wheeler for the rack and pinion steering or whatever you want to call that shit. So that you can whip around if you need to get aggressive. I'm Dude, I you know what? I want like one that's like the way wired out, like you see with like the Latinos do. Or yeah, that'd be slick. Freaking all fucking gold plated. Oh, bro, like with all the horns and fucking yeah. like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, figure out how to get, get some hydraulics in it so you can the even fucking lift. ape hangers and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Pimp out a zero turn <laughs> as he is just crossing the crosswalk and is jumping. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that, that dice hanging off of each fucking handle. handle. Yeah, yeah. The, oh, yeah. that would be bad. Lift up, lift up the front dime. corner as you're driving, right? Front tires off the ground. Yeah, that's why I said my rascal was gonna have fucking hydraulics have, on it I so I can fucking put that bitch in three wheel. Shit. I believe there must be a business plan out there to customize these rascals and uh different uh hover rounds and shit man it's just waiting for somebody to develop it and do it we just do it ourselves <laughs> if nobody's doing it we'll do it ourselves and corner the market do you do you think it's okay to have the fuzzy dice hanging on the pole with the Are virus you asking flag if it is um i think is that acceptable 
You don't is put the Confederate racist? battle are flag. Asking the, are you asking? No, no, no. So it's a fucking pirate flag, man. Fucking crossbones oh, no, and shit. How could it be racist? That's Jolly Roger. Jolly Rogers. Yeah, never man, motherfucking racist. Jolly Roger, buddy. Fuck yeah. But I'm saying, right. like, is is it acceptable to hang fuzzy dice with it? Because I mean, well, when you think about um, your rascal setup and fucking, you know, you don't have a lot of room for accessories. Have so you seen? Like, that, oh, have you well, seen? You know how like the kids put like scooters? the streamers in the ends of their handlebars when they're yeah, yeah, just one dice like, per fucking handlebar. Tassels, because then you could have two sets of dice potentially. You ever seen oh, yeah. uh, a Vespa scooter that's got like? 80 mirrors coming up off the front end of it. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Narcissus, the Narcissus Mobile. Oh, I've seen those Vespa scooters just freaking blinged out. Yeah, man. People are, <laughs> pretty crazy scooters. People That's go all out on that shit. Yeah. Is here's the cheapest scoot you can get. Now we're going to spend 20 G to fucking. Put shit on it, this you know, gold plated, all this other stuff. You're like, it, it, it <laughs> in your skin seat with ostrich trim, you know. Man, see, that's the thing. I, I think that's what I'm realizing, especially when like I was buying my vase, right? Like, I gotta start pimping my shit out, right? Like, a little handle, make it nice, doll it up, right? I care about yeah. this, shit. you gotta make it nice, dude. If I could, fucking, it. Right, like I'm, I'm all about like if I could have one of them little low rider fucking like bikes, I, I'd fucking pimp the shit out of one of those. Are you try is this your way you're trying to tell us you're gonna hang some fucking fuzzy dice for? That's his way of trying to get a sponsorship to get to, like. Dang oh, it. maybe could I fucking? Oh yeah, oh, especially oh, with this one. Especially with this one. And they're the size of a regular dice. <laughs> <laughs> no, he <didn't laughs> big ones. I got no. man. Realism and realism and marketing isn't really going to sell it. Really. <laughs> You've got to get that camera angle correct. Well, I remember having a roach clip with dice on it instead of feathers. So that's one of those gimmicks that was actually around back then. Oh yeah, they had the super mini uh, like fucking like bead sized dice. Beads and feathers. Oh yeah. Oh man, they, they dude, there were some bitching fucking roach clips back in the day. And yet, yeah, yeah, on top of that, right, you had to get the bitching roach clip. So this is when this is why you went to the carnival, right? Or I was gonna say you went to carnival coming into yeah, yeah, carnival or the or the or the fair, right? Because you had to go get your sweet <laughs> deaf, deaf leopard fucking mirror to do your blow That's right, off. That of, fucked up mirror. That oh, yeah. You mirror. had to do your fucking blow off your fucking cool ass fucking mirrors, and then you uh, had the bitch and roach clips out the fucking Indian feathers to smoke your weed with. Come on, guys. And don't forget the goblets for the fucking beer. The, the, oh, you, can yeah. get the two, you can get the one liter mugs. The, whole, the, whole, the, whole the OG yeah, pimp cup. Not that bitch. I have a, a, a I have a one meter long brow mug that I won at a carnival. Oh, I got it I, holds I all my sure pens. Have some in my attic. It's a, it sits on my dresser. It's what my pennies all go into. Fuck, just, I used to I used to be in the bar business and different renditions throughout. You know the whole family. You know. You end up with mirrors and all kinds of bullshit. Wait a minute, there's like a roach flip factory. I figured it was just like some shit made in like random ass people's garages, and somehow yeah. they just all made it into circulation. There is, there are, yeah, there's, there's it. Actually. It's like, I, they're like some fucking roach clip sweatshops, like. Because yeah. I, I want to know like where to buy like quality Let's road clips. This was not like, from what, any what, fucking. What, movie what movie carnivals movie. can I support even... to make sure I'm not getting sweatshop road clips? All right, that's what yeah. I want to know. <laughs> where I got my road clips from? Flea markets. No, it's like they're from markets, Oh, bro, yeah, you, you know where I got mine from? The fucking surgeon. You know when they fucking leave the room oh, and you can go through all your shit. Fucking right, fucking right, man. Best, office. best damn roach clips you'll ever fucking find. The dentist's office like, clips it, to the apron. I'm sorry, sorry. We left, we left a hemostat in your leg. I can I get it when you take it out for a souvenir? I want that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping that motherfucker when you take it out. 
Now, oh, you Lord. Do, no, now I won't sue your ass too hard. Yeah, you know, you know how much you know how much that motherfucker just cost me. Absolutely, I'm taking it home with me. There, that's right. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, hey, where'd the fucking boss go? He said, "Fuck this no, show. Dude, I fucking dude. hate these people. I am He's, out." We're hitting the two hour mark. Right away. Some truth if he's not here, he can't stop the show. I, yeah. uh, we can say whatever I we can. fucking want and do whatever we fucking <laughs> want. Oh, yeah. I had to get some stitches one time and got a really cool pair of hemostats because the uh, nurse was using the, these ones to stitch me up. And I was like, oh, those are cool. They have a pair of scissors built in. Oh, so nice. they got the clamp at the front end and a little little scissors at the back end. So a little, they, a little, a little clippy clip at the back yeah. end. Hell yeah! Well, you can take care of all in one fell swoop. Right. Yeah, those are yeah, those oh, are like the cool. stitch fucking wire. Is there any way that I can get those? And she's like, "What do you mean?" I was like, "Oh well, you know." I'm How'd you like the set of those? I, I'm a fisherman. Those would be good for fishing. You are, and that's not a lie. And she's like, "Okay, well, yeah, I guess I'll give them to you." Like sweet, you already paid for him. I got paid for him, <laughs> yeah. right? She's like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're paying for him. Well, then they're yeah. coming home with me. Thank you. Right. Had any extras? <laughs> I think I did. Oh yeah, don't. Extras. I got <laughs> two pair. Nice. You know what? You didn't. You didn't just rifle through the bucket all the drawers and fucking shelves like I did. No. He went with. He went with permission instead of regret. <laughs> Well, I never regretted it. I never asked permission well, either. And... That's because nobody went after you. <laughs> what are they going to fucking do? Like the second I walked in that room, I way. pretty much fucking paid for everything. So that's true. Yeah. yeah. That's oh, much oh, yeah. More than any... I mean, it's think about well. how much it costs at a four star uh, hotel. You know, you want the president's suite? It's still less than what the overnight at the hospital is going to run you. So, come on. <laughs> Give me the good drugs and some souvenirs. So, so, obviously, Donkey's fucking source was definitely working in the sweatshop of fucking Roach Clips. Because I figure if you buy the quality one, you only need one. Last lifetime. Quality. You, lose you have a it. box of them yeah, the last lifetime. It. And sound quality, That's man. When you don't have Roach any clips now. are small and can be misplaced easily. Oh, <laughs> you shit like that. It happens. It happens. I forget how many things you clip places. You know, you know where oh. the really good place to keep the roach clip is? Right in the visor of the car. Back of your hair. Because I, I got another thing. Bro, well, back in the back in the day, we used to put that shit in our hair, on our rat tails. I mean, that's why you bought the yeah, roach clip, just, and you got to carry that bitch around everywhere because you were like, man, it yeah, went in my. Yeah, that that made you the back of your hat. Your work always had them on there. Right, that shit was a fashion statement back then. If you had the cowboy hat, you had a, you'd have a freaking big old tassel of them. You know, the freaking Kenny Rogers uh, big feather set. Don't forget, yeah, the, 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 Richard and Teddy got to have two. shit hanging off. Richard on. Teddy was the king of the uh, of the giant feather deck. Yeah. On the <laughs> yeah. The giant feather. The boa. Yep, and you'd see those guys wearing those things with a bunch of freaking feathers coming off of the back of them at the carnivals. You'd be like, good lord. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh shit! We're, All right, guys. I gotta get the level. fuck out of here. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out tonight. I'm out. Have like a good one, guys. Fluff Later, is good. Thanks for coming out and hanging at your own I, show. Yeah, yeah. I'll see y'all Sunday morning. You bet. Hey. You. Oh god! I almost hit the I, wrong button. Instead I, of the uh, leave, I almost took off any motherfuckers with all. me. <laughs> Scorched my I'm on the right button. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Done that once <laughs> Ooh, dodged a bullet for three minutes. Yeah, shit, Brad's back. He's gonna shut us down now. I need yeah, some I, or we can get out of here. It, it I, is about that time, I guess. So it's uh but at the right time at the I don't <laughs> the silver lining to this dark cloud is that we get to listen to a really cool song. Absolutely. 
Today's poll show and app is brought to you by ice cream because I'm going to go and eat a shit ton what, of it. What kind Ooh. is it? We yeah. got some dark chocolate truffle. Ooh. There you go. This shit looks good. I've always been partial to the chocolate marshmallow. Ooh, that's good. Good night, everybody. All right. Have a great evening. May the munchies be with you. <laughs> See you <laughs> later, <everybody. laughs>